What a wonderful reason for us all to come together to honor our amazing Soldiering On Awards finalists and to announce this year's overall winners. We've got some great stories for you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or should I say, hello, hello. And listen very carefully. I shall say this. Thank you. The winner of the 2016 Soldier and Honor Award for Family Values is Anne Kadiri. Gobsmack for a change. Emotionally overwhelming and such a great honor. I just hope that it motivates more volunteers to just get involved. Tonight, one of our mentors nominated for a Soldier and Honor Award and he won. Amazing achievement, you can see him a small little charity from Cornwall and uh, obviously he's done really well helping with some of the most disadvantaged, most disaffected young people in the South West. Well Monday morning when the young people see it, it will be, it'll be party time, you know, non-alcoholic of course. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Anne Griffiths. It's just the fact that we've been recognised, I think the charity itself will appreciate that. It's the recognition that they've been putting on all that time for however long, it's recognition that they've done a good job. And to accept the award on behalf of Mademoiselle Seguin, representing the French ambassador to the United Kingdom Defence Attaché, Rear Admiral Patrick Cheval Le Roy. I have to say I am very honoured to be here for Simon at the occasion of this first uh, international award. Uh, the celebration of the friendship between our nations through um, the awarding of such distinction is always a great reminder of the strength of our relationship. A year and a half ago I didn't expect to be here today leaving the Navy and, and being involved in an event like this and it's very humbling because a lot of people out there and we've got to thank Soldier on for the work they do in, in bringing this to everyone's minds. I'm sure Phil's looking forward to getting back to the heroes tomorrow, the ones he looks after. Yes, exactly. Are they all heroes, Phil? Yeah, of course we are, aren't we? Hi, we're the Spinettes! And we are absolutely delighted to be here tonight at the Soldiering On Awards 2016. Each story is kind of more yeah, amazing than the one before. Really so amazing. the atmosphere is really kind of celebratory and quite joyful, isn't it? Yeah, and tearful at times. We yeah, had a, we had a few we tears did. at the beginning. The crowd gets bigger every year. The humbling aspect of every evening is is fantastic, and all of the people that we bring with us, large family of sponsors all go away, you know, can't wait to get back for next year. An amazing woman, Mary Wilson. Thank you very much to Spectra and to everybody else and to Soldiering On. Um, without them, that actually wouldn't happen. I mean, it, it's absolutely fantastic. Like I say, a phenomenal award ceremony, uh, a great process to go through and be involved in. And, and yeah, I'm absolutely uh, overwhelmed to be part of it this evening and, uh, and long may it continue. Uh, tonight, I've been lucky enough to be the recipient of the Soldiering On Award for the K9 Partners, which has been absolutely amazing for our charity and the team. And I'm just so grateful because again, it's getting our message out there that we are you know, doing something positive out in Afghanistan. So I'm a patron to the Royal London Blind Society. So I've seen and witnessed what babes, children, parents have gone through. Ray Hazar has not only overcome his own blindness and other injuries, but has also gone on to support so many other people on their own journeys through this, his work through the Blind Veterans of UK. I'm spellbound. I, I, I can hardly find the words to express how happy I am. I, I can't deny that having a pat on the back or to have one's work appreciated gives one such a good feeling. Uh, and uh, I feel that everything I've done is, is worthwhile. It's been recognised. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Cromie Hawk. Having the opportunity to come to awards like this is magnificent because you get to catch up with old faces. And however big the armed forces are, actually, we are one big family. I am truly honoured to present this Lifetime Achievement Award to Dr. Walter Bustatino. I think if you want to nominate somebody who's done something special, you should, because it's really important sometimes to recognise people who have really worked hard for the military family in general, and maybe particular parts of the military family. The uh, Sunder Express People's Award amongst all those winners is 
the Blesma Channel Swim Team. Well, thank you very much. What an amazing opportunity. You know, we, we were in a very difficult category. Thank you for voting. Thank you to the Sunday Express for promoting um, and supporting and sponsoring the award. That's really, really generous of them. Um, and indeed, all of the people that have been kind enough to vote and take the time to vote. It's, it's been another inspirational year of bringing together some amazing people who have done some incredible things for our community. So you know, the um, Outstanding Contribution Award that we gave to Dame Vera Lynn was just such an incredible experience. Dame Vera, this is your award from Soldiering On oh, for Outstanding Contribution, both Thank for what you, you did in the war, but also all the charity work you've done since the war. Well, I'm very proud and honoured to be awarded this something very special because it belongs to something that is so close to my heart. To be able to have gone out there and entertain the boys uh, under the difficulties. It's the boys that sh all should have one of these. <laughs> and all the award uh, nominations for coming forward and making us aware of what they're doing. We're, we're actively encouraging all of the charities to put forward nominations for next year. You know, to, to be able to do this in such style, to be able to recognise and support them in such a humbling way, it means, means the world to me and it really does mean everything to the team to have these organisations behind us to make that, that possible.